Senator De Lima in the Bible, Job got angry at God. Yeah. Did you also get angry at God? I did not get to that point that I would really, that I would be angry at the good Lord. But I would question Him. Yung kung sa ano parang pinakita ko sa kanya na nagtatampo ako. You know, uh, Lord, bakit? You question, but not angry. Because I know that he's, you know, he's most powerful, he's most all-knowing, and he's all-merciful. There must be a reason why that was done to me. There must be a reason why the good Lord let it happen. That word is interesting, nagtatampo ako. Can you tell us more about that? Bakit tampo? Nagtatampo ako kasi I don't deserve to be in jail. Bakit niya pinabayaan na nangyari yun? And even before I got incarcerated, grabe na yung oppression sa akin in terms of those vicious attacks at my womanhood, directed at my woman. You all know about the, the slut shaming that I got from my chief oppressor and his uh, minions, and then all those hate messages that I would be receiving in my phone before ako nakulong. Na it's, it's somewhere unprintable words, and I had to get rid of my old phone because I would receive about more than 2,000 hate messages, especially when my cell phone number was exposed in that congressional during one of the members of the committee just exposed my number. So after, after doing that, right, of, you know, in a matter of seconds, I started receiving all those hate messages for days. And di ko nga nabilang. So I decided to uh, dispose of the SIM card of that uh, old uh, cell phone of mine. Now, uh, nagtatampo ako. Kasi nga, Lord, bakit tinayaan mo? Ano ba talaga? Um, is it, ito ba talaga ang dapat gawin sa akin para lang magkaroon ako ng, you know, uh, um, epiphany, moments of epiphany of where I did wrong and where what am I supposed to do next? Um, pero sinasabi ko rin nun, baka naman Lord talagang pinapahinga niyo na. You know, yung, yung pag hindi na ako nag, nagtatampo, I would say, I would ask, siguro pinapahinga mo lang ako. Pinapabreak mo lang ako because of my you know, a very busy schedule as a, uh, as a public official, as a public figure. And, and salamat naman po if, 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 that's, if that's the uh, objective of all, of all this. But sana naman, hindi naman dapat matagal. Although I never doubted that someday I would be freed and vindicated. Ilang beses kayong nabitin eh, hindi ba? When you were there, mm -hmm. um, there would be hope that uh, you would be able to post bail and then suddenly, hindi pala. So, mm -mm. you know, that roller coaster of emotions, how did you handle that? The prayers again. Because by that time, na developed na talaga ng malaki, my faith. The deepening of the faith was happening though, during those moments. So I decided not anymore to question uh, my situation. And ang naging attitude ko by that time is to let it all up to the good Lord. Thy will be done. That's always part of my prayer. Mga sagit na na yun ng aking uh, incarceration. At first, I, 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 I haven't thought of that. That I'll just say, Thy will be done. Mm -hmm. But in the mid part of my incarceration, that's already the main theme, the core theme of my prayers. You know everything, you know what I feel, and you know exactly what happened. You know the truth, and the truth shall set me free. It's, it's there in, 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 the, in the Bible. But then because of that, thy will be done, and because of the deepened faith, I developed really that mindset. I will be freed someday. I bahala lang kayo, Lord. Because that's exactly my prayer also when I was taken hostage in, in, in October of 2022. Bahala na kayo, Lord. 
kung ano man ito.